Alright guys, we are in. Now, I'm going to be starting a solo server here. Um, I'm just going to... It actually wipes every Monday. So I'm just going to see how far I can get. It's a Thursday. I've got the weekend, pretty much the whole weekend to play. So I'm just going to see how far I can get. Just Thursday to... Thursday to Sunday. I'm just taking a look at the map here. And uh, launch site is pretty far away from everything else. I'm quite liking the look of like... Uh, the train yard, sewer branch, and water treatment. Just the fact that there's snow there is kind of putting me off. I don't mind if I do. I might just quickly go make a building hammer and just take his chests. Yeah, a few nice little boxes coming up the road. Just give us a little jump start. I might just smash this barrel open, get some, uh, get some fuel for a furnace. So it looks like there's a hell of a lot of bases, and there are no trees in that area. Something I noticed. There's one tree. One poor tree. Oh, Jesus, that was close. Okay. Right, so we're just here. I'm thinking head up towards the sewer branch and train yard. I'm going to trek it through the snow while it's still light. I think I'll go under these pylons as well. Maybe be able to pick up some more bits of gear. No way. Already? Okay. I think I'm just going to stash it just so we've got it secure because fuck losing that. I'll actually cry. Okay, this stone out in the open. There's that base there. I've got a stone here. I'm just trying to remember where I'm burying it here. Put it in the stone. Yeah, you can still open that. So jackhammer. Put the scrap in. We'll put these boxes in because we don't need them just yet. And that. I'm going to be back. All the most valuable bits and bobs. Alright, now I hope no one saw that. Grab all this cloth here, because we're going to need it. Going to need some bows and some clothes and such. Well, I quite like the look of this valley. I mean, there aren't many trees or anything, which is a bit of an issue. Yeah, I think I'll head up into the hills quickly. Maybe give myself some clothes. Keep myself from just dying. Yeah, I'll make myself a hatchet. We'll farm a load of wood really quickly. And then we'll come back down out these mountains so we don't die from cold. Alright, so we've got base, door, base... Christ. Ooh. I'll tell you what, I'm quite liking this like little mushroom area down here. Loads of trees about. Pretty easy to get started. And then we could try and conquer this valley later on. Like as we play through. I have seen a few people running around as well, so we could definitely get some fights going around here. Oh, I don't know how much I want to go fight that Revy guy. Try and get myself geared up. But for now I'm just gonna try and lay low and get a base down so I don't lose all the progress we've just made. Ooh, I'm liking the top of this hill. Is this, this isn't a cave, is it? Oh, for God's sake, it's a cave. Never mind. <laughs> Don't think we can build here. I think it's too close to water treatment. Surprised we haven't bumped into anyone who tried to kill us yet. We've, done, we've been pretty lucky here, I'm not gonna lie. Right, every single base around here... I mean, every single little spot around here is, like, occupied. They're, all these bases are just so close together, there's nowhere I can build. Let's just grab another key lock for the, uh, the TC, and we've still got about 3,000 wood to build with. Gotta find a place soon, because the longer I leave it, the more likely it is I'm gonna get killed. I mean, I could maybe build, like, here, I think. This looks alright. Don't see why not. So I can go pretty far to this side and pretty far to this side, so I think I'll just build, like... Something like that. Where can I put the entrance, though? So that's completely blocked off, so we have no option to honeycomb that. Yeah, let's just build a little... Cheeky little... One by two. Come on. What the hell? Building pr Really? Wow. Okay. So we can build the whole base like this, but this one wall won't, isn't allowed to be built. Oh, that's annoying. Um, we only wasted like 100 wood there, so that's fine. I don't know, like 500, but still. <laughs> that's actually quite a lot of wood. Shit, we might have to knock down another tree quickly. And this is the thing, is I can hear people popping off all around Shots on every single side. But I have not been attacked yet. I'll soon become the target of the shots if I don't get a base down. Please. Base there. Base there. This is so frustrating. Everywhere's taken. That's a player. Oh, that's the revolver guy. What did I say about being the, uh... 
the recipients of those shots if I didn't get a base built. I might literally just have to throw down the fastest one by one that I've ever built. Right, I'm literally just going to throw down the fastest one by one ever built by a human in Rust. Let's go. That was pretty damn fast. God damn. That feels good. That feels good, man. <laughs> right, let's quickly craft up another door, another key lock. Throw the scrap in. Throw the cloth in. Wait, let's get enough cloth to make a bag first. Sleeping bag. Can respawn here. Um, get a bit of wood in the TC. Stop the decay. Let's craft the chest up as well. Pop that on there. And we're going to try... I don't know how far I can expand this. Ow. Can we place on all these sides? Okay, we might have actually chosen a good spot here. Can these go up? Yeah, they can. Right, nice, nice, nice. Okay. Okay. I think the server might be a bit laggy. Keeps not liking me placing and upgrading certain things. I don't quite know why. Okay, right. This is looking good. we got a new door. So we'll put that up. And bam. So I'm going to destroy this. And I'm going to put up a double door frame. Just like that. Um, and then when I've got enough wood, I'm going to chop some more. I'm going to put a double door on here. And the reason for that is so we can get four large chests in here and still be able to access them all. Because if you're trying to access four large chests through a tiny little doorway, I actually think it would block us from getting to the TC. Right, so. Foundation down. Put a half wall down. Ceiling on. You can put a little triangle ceiling indoors. So now we can get um, two large chests on top of here and two underneath. So it's going to save us a hell of a lot of space. While we run over to get this thing. Wait, do you have any stone at all? Okay, I'm going to bring enough wood to make some arrows and stuff if I need. I'll also bring enough for a few bandages. I'll leave the tools because you don't need those. And the water. Yes, yeah, so we're going to have a few bandages. Uh, we're crafting this double door and everything as well. The double door and the key. And we're going to just go over to get the large chests and stuff that I had. All the stuff that I banked, actually. What I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly try and find some stone along the way. So I can craft up a bow. There we go. And I need the stone for the arrows, so we just got to find a little bit. We don't need much. I'm not seeing any stone about there. Right, well, I'm going to ignore that then. I'm just going to head straight up into the hills and go and get my stuff that I collected. But I do want to try and craft some arrows, because I, if I get attacked while I'm doing this, I'm probably just going to get murdered with all the good stuff I found before. Okay, so I'm pretty sure it was this stone. Yes. Nice. So some scrappy bits and our beloved jackhammer. That's what we need. And then I'm just going to try and run home. Instead of trying to find stone for these arrows, I'm just going to try and make a beeline home, because I really don't want to lose this jackhammer. Because on a two-time server, that's going to be absolutely huge. They're insane on a one-time server. Never mind a 2x. That's going to get us a big base very fast if we don't die with it. That's the key, though. <laughs> it's not dying with it. Oh, I knew it. I went straight over it. I was like, I swear that was stone. All right, it's 20 arrows right there. Lovely. Okay, I can hear an airdrop coming in. So I'm going to go and just see if I can get it. If it's nearby, that is. There it is. There's that gorgeous airdrop. Ooh, got to keep that in mind. There is a turret on top of that base. I bet you that's going to get us killed at some point. That might be a raid base with the turret on top of it. I'm not sure. All right, wait. Is that in launch site? I don't think we're going to be able to... Are we not going to be able to access that? I'm building some... Build up gloves to try and get rid of some more radiation. But I don't think we're going to actually be able to access this airdrop. Is that like on top of launch site? Okay, maybe that's what someone's done. Maybe somebody's gone up there and called it in on top of launch, specifically so people can't get to it. Shit, that was anticlimactic. Oh well, we're pretty close to launch site though. I mean, it only took me a few minutes to run there. Anyway, we'll find loot another way. Ooh, they behind me. Tag them. Are they slugs? That's not good. Tag them again. Tag him again, he's down. That's our first gun right there, boys. And our first fight. Okay, he might live right here, seeing as he just suicided very, very quickly. Very, very nice. A pipey with slugs. That could be huge for us. Uh, and we 
got it all. Let's get going, boys, before he comes back. He might live just there or something. Oh, damn, that was pretty successful, eh? That's our first fight. That went very, very well. Alright, pretty much home here. Looks like we're going to be good. Nice. Alright. Success. I mean, I think we're 30 minutes into the server or something? Still very near the start, but doing pretty well. Let's check these out. Okay, so. We've got a few materials there. We'll go get some stone for the base. And we'll also try and get some animal fat as well if we can. Or maybe we can just go farm some of the red barrels along the road. We'll go do that. That needs to be our main thing because we really need to get some metal frags for a door. Otherwise, we are going to get flame raided so quickly. Right, let's just see what color these barrels are. See if any of them are red. Perfect. We've got a red one here. Just pop that open. Grab all the bits and bobs. Eight low grade fuel. I know it's not a lot. Actually, you know what we can do? We're going to chop this tree down. There we go. All right. Okay, so we're going to go find an oil refinery because the reason I got that wood is so we can burn this crude oil and get low grade fuel. So we'll get a lot from that. We'll probably get enough for a whole furnace just from that, like, one barrel, so. The only thing is, I can't remember. I think it's in the bottom floor of this red building here. I can't remember, though. We have to go check. Ooh, another airdrop, though. Is that another one over launch site? Uh, it doesn't look like it, actually. It looks like it's, like, just to the left of the launch site, like here. Yeah, I don't see the refinery. I do think it's in that uh, that little building over there. We're going to go to that in a minute, though. Because if we can get this airdrop, that could get us a revolver. It could get us something better, you know. We could get, like, a really good gun. We could get some really good new ammo types. So, we'll go try for it. Yeah, this is, like, way further to the left. This is, like, over here somewhere. Oh, God. This is the base with the turrets that I was saying I needed to watch out for. Wow, they've got how many? So, one, two, three on top of the main base. And then there was one on the outer base as well. Wow. That'd be an absolute bitch to raid. They're on peacekeeper mode, though. I think I see green lasers coming out of them. Okay, we're nearly at this airdrop. And I haven't seen anyone running over here. There's this airdrop's nearly down. I haven't heard or seen anything. Now, I'm just going to take, like, a bit of a, a high ground approach to it. As in, I'm going to try and stay away from the airdrop a little bit. And then kind of move in if no one's about. So I don't want to just, you know, kamikaze it. I'm going to try and get on top of this rock and get a bit of a... I think we go through here and get a good view. Yeah, I don't see anyone. I'm seeing the glint of someone down there. That's a scientist down there. This could be a free take for us. I'm very surprised if it is. I mean, there has been some PvP in the area. I've not been, like, alone here. I've seen probably five to ten people running about. It's not quiet. The server's definitely not empty. Yeah, no one. Yeah, anyway, somebody might be just about to arrive, so we've got to be quick. Okay, okay. Some nice new ammo types. Suppressor. In case we want to start explosive raiding. Fifty high qual as well, so... We can definitely do some bits with that. That's pretty good. What have we got here? Okay, that's play. Tagged him. I mean, I didn't get too much great stuff from this airdrop, so I'm not too bothered about risking it. Tagged him again. Is that down? I'm not sure. Did. What up, dude? Baze pimple popper. I love it. Uh, what do we need? Yo, just stay put and I'll get you up, okay? Hello? Hello? Okay. Take his big weaponry in case he tries to attack us. How are you, my dude? You okay? Yep. I can defend you. There you are, my guy. For your troubles, I'll give you a, uh... What should I give you? Here's some nice new shotgun rounds. Shiny. There you go. Good luck, my man. I'll catch you later. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, we didn't need to just murder him. And he wasn't an asshole, so why? Why not, you know? Might as well be nice to people sometimes. See, that's what I want to get to. If we can be at, like, that kind of a base before this server wipes, I'll be happy, man. I'll be real happy. If we can be raiding bases like that, I'll be even happier. We just got to get some explosive ammo, or we got to... You know, we've got to try and take heli, get some rocket C4. I've never actually taken heli before, so that could be real fun if we can, like, aim to do that. But we're making good progress here. I mean, we've got coffee gun helmets. we got we got some new ammo types. We've already got, like, slugs and shotgun ammo. We've got pistol ammo. So now I think probably the next step is to try and get... I reckon we should try and get a workbench. And then maybe get a research table as well. Get that, get that pipe shotgun research, because that could be a huge game changer. 
Let's just bank this gear first off. That's the main thing. Let's, let's do what we're going to do here with the crude oil. So, we're going to head over to um, to train yard because I think I know where the... I think I know where the refinery is, so... We can head over into there. No, none of the crates seem to have spawned. And the oil refinery isn't where I thought it was, so it must be on that hill up there. If it's not in there, then there might actually not be one here. I don't really know with this area. I'm not too experienced with it. A player up there. Did he see me? Doesn't look like he did. He's crouch walking towards me. Trying to fight me. I don't think he's seen me though. Can use a recycler. I don't know what he's doing in there. Yeah, he is. Headshot him. There we go. Very nice. All right, I'm gonna take my boots off and put on his balaclava for extra protection. We'll take his good bits of clothes. You can throw these out because we don't really need that much. I'll check out the seeds and grab his bow. All right, we're good to go. Okay, I'm going to quickly head upstairs and recycle this stuff. I was just bitching at my friend on Steam, Steam to stop me messaging me because he was going to get me killed. <laughs> Alright. Pretty nice amount of metal and stuff. It's enough for TC. Not TC, Jesus Christ. Um, a workbench, a research table, and whatever else we might want to craft. It's quite a lot, actually. And we got another 150 scrap there. Poor guy. I was going to revive him, but <laughs> he just straight ragdolled. feel bad now. Ooh. Is that a semi-rifle? Is it a python? I'm not sure. I don't know, but I might give it a go. Here's someone farming. I'm just going to bank this stuff and then quickly go and check on the guy farming. Then maybe head over to that semi guy. I don't know if he's in the cave. Run down there. This guy could have a lot of stone. We really need some farm right now, so I'm gonna try kill him. I'm pretty sure this is quite an expansive cave system. What the hell? There's a base down here. Two bases. Okay, so there's this guy's blocked this off, so he's living in his base. So I'm just not gonna disturb him. But I will farm some stone on the way out. I'm going to leave that stone there just because it's a bit close to his base for comfort. If he was outside his base, we could have maybe had a chance. But he's, he's locked in there. He's coming out on his terms, you know. So I'm just going to leave that. Chop some stone and head home. We've done a real good job with the caves on this. I think I hear him above me. I do. Is this the farmer that I saw? Who knows? Could be the guy with all the farm. Where are you, mate? There he is. Oh, just missed. Just missed. Stop in the name of the law. Oh, I wasn't I wasn't really expecting you. I wasn't expecting you to stop. <laughs> you wanna kill this guy with me? Oh no, it's a solo server, I can't do that. Were you the guy? Were you the guy farming in the tunnel? Yeah. Nice. What'd you get, boy? What'd you get? Oh, it's Brutus. Oh, I killed you before. No, you're uh, cool, man. I'm gonna leave you. I'm gonna leave you be. Oh, what's up, dude? What up? Okay, so this is the guy I was just shooting out over here. I quite like that Brutus guy though. He's, he seems pretty chilled. He took it on the chin. Let's try and kill this guy. Big snap coming in. Did he just like shoot really far ahead? Oh no, he lagged back. Tag him. If that's his base, then I might be screwed. Tag him again. Big snipes coming in. Okay, he's down. Let's see what he's got to say about it. <laughs> what up, dude? You alright? No, oh, he seems pretty basic. I'm just gonna pick him up. I don't really want any of his gear. I'm gonna let him keep it all. You okay, man? Sorry about that. 
Let me pull those out for you. There you go. You grab your bow. Take some mushrooms. Take some cloth. You'll be alright. I'll see you around, dude. Good luck with everything. Got a neighbor. Hello. What up, man? Oh, is, wait, is it Brutus? Dude, we live next door. I live right here. <laughs> Yeah, man. Wait, what are the, what do the rules say? Okay. Uh, no, you just you just do a doorway, bro. Wait, do you mean like a? No, I don't. Do you mean like a window shop front? Oh, okay. Oh shit. Here we go. <laughs> this uh, my foundation is fucked up. It's too far over here. Damn. Ooh. Do you want to go counter that with me? See if we can do a new counter. You hear that raid? I only, I only had one Literally satchel. Right oh shit, bro. Okay, well you, you just carry on doing you, all right? <laughs> I just, yeah, I just, I just, I started this morning. So. Yeah, man. Yeah, no, I just started now, but I've just, I've been kind of lucky. I haven't died yet, so I'm doing all right. Anyway, man, I'll see you in a bit. I'll be around. Okay, so we live next door to the guy we murdered. That's not usually a good thing, but he seems all right. Let's quickly. Do we still have the hammer? We do. Okay, let's quickly do all the foundations. In fact, we'll do the ceiling so people can't see what's in the side. And then we'll just do, I don't know, like two walls. And then it kind of looks like this is the room with the loot in. And then hopefully people won't raid it. Um, No, you know what we're going to do? We're going to get some wood. We're going to get crude oil. And we're going to head on over to water treatment because I know for a fact that water treatment has a crude oil refinery so we're definitely going to be able to get that low grade if we head there what up say so, if you're right yep nice well I would want to yeah. play but I kind of want to play like just me and you if we do play together Really? Yeah, not for guns, but for like scrap, Jesus. just resources and shit. Could like, you, Dom, can I call you back? Can I call you back in a minute? I'm just getting attacked right now. Yeah, just show this one when you're in the yeah. cut. Alright, killed one. Just join, join this one when you're in. Okay, I'll be one sec. I almost got him, dude. I hit him twice with a hatchet. Get him. Get him. I hit him twice with a hatchet. It's all over, my Get friend. Him. And that's that, I think. Oh, no. There we go. And it's done. Jesus, don't talk to your family whilst you're trying to play play Rust. This is what happens. I'm sorry, boys. It had to happen. I was on the phone. I couldn't not take the fight. I'm sorry, Harry. <laughs> Good fight, dude. Good fight, dude. Yeah, GG, boys. It was fun. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. It's the way it's got to be. I'm friendly. Oh, he died. Okay, I was gonna... Oh, God, I was gonna revive him. <laughs> okay, that just went from being an assault to being a murder. Let me... Sorry, man. <laughs> all right, boys, we're back. Just gone for a quick chat with my brother. Just gone and sorted all that out. I'm gonna read this note. Ah, oh, blank. Boring. How oh, boring. But anywho, we managed to kill those two guys. I'm sorry about that fight being interrupted with a phone call. I didn't actually expect to get into a fight. I was just going to call him whilst I ran over here. But this server's a little more a little more populated than I uh, give it credit for. That should be enough, I think. Right, I'm going to go check a few crate spots whilst that cooks. And I hope this plane doesn't drop just yet and it drops over towards our base. That'd be good. So we might be able to do both. Get this low grade and check out the airdrop. Oh, we're finished. That was quick. Nice. Okay, I'll take that charcoal just because at some point we're going to need to make bullets, aren't we? Right, so I'm going to run home. Our house is like here. We'll bank the stuff and then we'll head up into the mountains for that airdrop. I think we should get to that airdrop in time. I'm not 100% certain. Kind of depends how far this airdrop's going to land up the mountain. If it lands like closer towards the base of one of them, then it should be alright. But if it lands on top of one of these mountains, it's going to literally be like... Because the mountain's so, like, elevated, it just la the airdrops land really fast on them. 
because they don't they don't always drop like you know an exact height above the ground they kind of like they drop at an equal height and then you know the, the height of the terrain will vary the time it takes for it to land all right we made it back time to spam bean can though that's pretty good that's pretty pretty good let me quickly grab some more arrows take all of those all right well if we get our second airdrop already that could be huge for us if i do see a player there he looks naked with like a bow though i think but he if he's probably gonna get this airdrop before we do so he's probably gonna get a gun out of it so we're probably gonna have to be dealing with a naked with a gun which is a bit of an issue actually he looks kind of bulky so i think he probably has armor on i don't see anyone else so it might just be this one guy we've got to battle for it the only reason i would not battle him is if he gets something really good out of the drop and i'm a little worried he might run back towards us after grabbing the drop because this is the way he came from we get this high ground here i don't think he heard us there we go he's just below us down here somewhere just missed him Keep chasing and firing until we get him. Tagged him. Well, I lagged as well. I was lucky. He's got a DB on him. Which I do need to keep note of. Because he could kill us pretty easily with that. If we give him the chance. He's zigzagging like crazy. He wants that DB. Oh no. I pulled out bandages. Oh, so close. Go, 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 go. Oh, bear took him. Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. That's <laughs> so unlucky. <laughs> that bear takes no shit. Nope. That bear's coming for us. Gotta use the rocks to our advantage. Now I'm probably... I'm pretty sure this guy probably lives nearby. So we've gotta be quick here. Oh, C4. No way. No way. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's huge. And he's got farm on him. A lot of farm. Alright, let's not be greedy here. Let's dip. Don't have space for all that stuff. And the stuff that I have got is very, very good stuff. So, we've got slugs in the base. So, I'm not I'm not going to worry about using them. So, I'm going to get these slugs loaded. Wow. That is huge. That is absolutely huge. A double-barreled shotgun, which we've got slugs for. And C4. Plus all that farm. That is massive for us. We've now got the low grade to make our furnaces. So we're going to be able to get metal doors. We're going to be able to craft the workbenches and the research tables that we need to research this stuff. This is huge for us, guys. That's such a good start. It doesn't look like there's anyone about. It looks like we're going to get home scot-free. That is huge, guys. Wow. I know I keep saying that is huge, but we are making some huge plays, boys. Oh, my God. <laughs> look at that. Look at that loot. Hand grenades. We've got a double barrel every single type of ammo for the double barrel that's insane that's insane um we've got five by six we've got pistol bullets that's that's all the ammo you need really to operate on a server except if you're looking to raid with like explosive five by six 2.3k metal once we've furnished all this up guys we're gonna have enough to make this base full metal with a few metal doors so this is gonna be like straight away we're gonna be like 12 satchels to raid uh for, for someone to raid us sorry if we can just if we can just pull ourselves together and just get this, uh, get these furnaces going. Yo, did you just die, my dude? Yeah, uh, I ran over the train. Uh, did they use, did they use revolvers on you? Did you get killed by a revolver? There's a python. A python, really? Ooh. There's a, well, there's a crate over there right now. There oh, really? Okay. Okay, thanks for that, man. Uh, I am going to finish the episode here. If you want to see me go take these guys at water treatment, you'll just have to click onto the next episode. I'm going to do a little solo series here, so there'll be a few parts. We'll see how far we can go. Uh, hopefully next time, I'll have, in the next video, I'll armor the base up and stuff, and we won't get raided, and everything will be peachy. So I hope you've enjoyed, guys. If you did like the video, uh, be sure to subscribe. Tell me what you liked about it. Or tell me what you disliked about it in the comments. Just let me know, guys. Thank you very much for being here. And I'll see you next time.